attachment theory and beyond. Homo Emor evolves the blessing of the Father. I am Christina Tehel. Here I recapitulate pivotal sections of first principles in direct quotes from Dr. Mark Goffney or Barbara Marks Hubbard woven together from the prior week's One Mountain, Many Paths broadcast. Most people in the world are the product of imperfect parenting because parenting is imperfect, because an attunement is imperfect. And some of us may even have been the product of brutal parenting. But actually, it's not about that. Yes, do the psychological, therapeutic, traumatic work. That is critically important. And there's no bypass road. Any spiritual path that says you can do a spiritual bypass and not do the attachment work is incorrect. But once you've done that work, give it up. Let go of your attachment to reliving that story again and again and again. Because actually, going through the story again and again becomes not your arrows, not your healing, but going through the story of your past becomes your pseudo arrows. It becomes an addiction. We have to liberate the notion that there's this one person or multiple persons, our mother, our father, who's the Pharaoh in our life. And if they did it wrong, that we can't liberate ourselves. It's not true. Homo Amor is called by the memory of the future. In the Hebrew mystical tradition, if you read the Song of Solomon, the beloved is sister, brother, mother, father. The beloved has so many faces. We are all mothers and fathers to each other. The memory of the future is in the faces of all the mothers and fathers that call us forward, are desperate to be proud of us, need our service, see us, invite us, recognize us, choose us, desire our depth, and adore us. Yes, we track the beloved in the classical romantic relationships, but we also need to be beloveds to each other, or what we call outrageous lovers. Beloveds to each other doesn't mean that it's frozen in a romantic context. That is one context, and it's an important one. Too often, The romantic context, though, is a strategy of the ego, seeking comfort and security, which is reactive to that which happens to it. But actually, that's not ordinary love. That's outrageous love that emerges from within and takes on so many wonderful guises. So we can be to each other at once. We can be beloved, lover, brother, sister, uncle, mother, and we can be father. And as mothers and fathers, we have to say to each other what the mother and father needed to say to their child in an ideal world. Welcome. You're welcome in the universe that the universe is a love story and that that love story is a story of evolving value and evolving love, an evolutionary love story. It's not just a social construction. When we lock ourselves in one relationship, we actually lose the power of the universe, a love story. The blessing of the father begins with the recognition that actually, as a unique self, as homo amor, we are each other's sons and daughters, and we have a unique contribution a unique value of cosmos that's needed by cosmos, that we are part of this larger field of value and we need to show up for each other in these ways. We are part of team humanity and team humanity deeply needs us. 